more friends on my knees, blood to me Spill it in your head, yeah, that's blood money Welcome back to Consumer Labs. Today I'm going to talk about, you know, the Roco Studio Smart Suit Pro 2. Yeah, this is it. Now, if you look at my uh, prior video, I went over all the aspects of the suit. I talked about the material. I talked about the design. You know, the whole bit. So you can check that out. Today I'm going to talk about a specific type of trouble you can have with the suit. And that trouble could be a hardware problem. Now, the good thing about this is that it's easy to diagnose this particular hardware problem, which is a cable problem. If the cable goes bad or the sensor goes bad, you can determine right away if that's the trouble. And the way it works is that if on the software side, instead of getting a green or yellow light, it's showing a white light, basically nothing, that tells you right away, we're talking about the software, looking on the software on your computer screen, if you get nothing or white, that means the cable, or even a possible, the sensor is bad. Now, with a trouble like that, I'm gonna tell you, I tried, I didn't know at the time. So I was trying different batteries. I was, I don't know, I was just doing anything that could possibly do. Batteries, software, rebooting it up multiple times. And then um, I just finally said, you know what? This trouble is a little bit beyond just a, a software problem, right? So what I did was I contacted Roku's, Roku's studio, excuse me, and let me tell you something, they got back to me really, really, really quick. So I scheduled an appointment, I went on, on online, and they basically took control of the computer, you know, when I say control of the computer, I mean, you know, with, with your permission, of course, to check out whether it was a software problem, they went into a log of it, and they determined that more than likely the cable was bad. Now, with that being said, I could tell you right now, what they do is, if the cable is bad, they send you this package. This package comes with extra cables, and it comes with this little device. Yes, this little plastic piece that you can actually print down your 3D printer. And um, you need this piece to help remove the sensor, right? So it's very simple to remove the sensor with this device. All you do is take it, place it on top, of the sensor and turn and that's all you gotta do and once and once you do that it comes off no big deal now to change the cable it took me no more than maybe three minutes i'll be honest with you, that's all it took about three minutes change the cable boot up the suit and it worked perfectly fine now was it was it a little problem for me yeah i mean think about it. i spent 2400 dollars on the suit and now i gotta wait to call them contact them go through the whole process then I had to wait to receive the package. I mean, it is a little annoying, I will admit, but to be honest with you, that can happen to anything. It really can. It can happen to any product that you buy. You know, you just, sometimes it's just a draw. That's all it really is. You never know what you get, right? So, with that being said, the conclusion here, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, is very simple. If you're having trouble with your suit and you look on the software side and it's showing no green or yellow indication, just a plain white or no color, what the problem more likely is, is the cable or the sensor. I just wanna say, the last thing I wanna say is, just because you have a, I had a little problem with the suit, I'm not gonna say the suit's a bad suit, right? Obviously, for the price, you're talking about 24, 27. Um, I got a discount, by the way, a student discount. You can get a student discount, to kind of reduce the price a little bit. That's just a tip for me to you. And um, I would say it's still a great suit, right? And don't worry, I'm gonna do a lot more uh, troubleshooting with the suit and showing you different troubles you can have. But in general, in general, when we're talking about hardware aspect, the only really thing that can go wrong with the suit is either hardware-wise, either gonna be the cable or it's gonna be a sensor. That's pretty much it. That's really it. And also easier to replace because the sensor itself, in this case you didn't know, it's Velcro, so you can see you can easily replace it. All you gotta do is just take it off like that, and that's it if you needed to change it. Okay, so very simple, simple suit to work. It's not mechanical, or you don't need an engineering degree to do it. And um, you know what? We'll talk more about the suit. We'll come back with some new stuff about the suit. We'll talk about the speed of the suit, because I know that's a very interesting topic, is to find out 
What can you really do with the suit? What moves can you make with the suit? Because at the end of the day, remember, you want the suit to basically mimic what you're doing, right? Whether you're moving slow, whether you're moving fast. And you know what? We'll talk more about that in the next series. For now, guys, make sure you, you subscribe. Excuse me. Um, this is Consumer Labs. We'll talk. Friends on my knees, blood on me, spilling in your ear, that's blood money.